Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing some outdoor cleaning motivation, at least I'm going to call it cleaning motivation, because even though I'm doing some landscaping, painting, and washing windows outside, I feel like I'm really cleaning up and bringing this area back to life outside of my house. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Becky. I'm a wife and mom to three little ones, five and under. On my channel, I share cleaning, decluttering, organizing, and homemaking. If that sounds like something you would enjoy, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let's get into this. We are starting today's video where we left off in last week's video with a couple of changes. If you have not seen last week's video, I will put a pop-up right here in the upper right corner. You can go check it out after the video or click on it now and then come back to the video. Whatever you would like to do to make this video enjoyable to you and make it make sense. Since we are right in the middle of this project and this is part two, I wanted to include that so you didn't feel lost or like you were missing anything. But basically where we left off is I had just finished power washing our back deck. Once I was done power washing, it rained for a good four days here and I needed to make sure it wasn't going to rain for at least a few days before starting to paint the deck because the paint needed 72 hours to dry and the mulch that I'm going to lay down in today's video also could not be rained on for I believe it said 48 hours in order for it to retain its color. So I had to be absolutely sure that it was not going to rain in the next few days in order to start this project. My goal was to finish everything in one day. I needed to lay the mulch, paint the deck, wash the windows, and trim the bushes. I always do this to myself. I have really high expectations, always thinking I can tackle my entire to-do list in one day, and that is never the case. It's pretty much unattainable, and my husband actually laughs at me sometimes because I tell him my to-do list, and I tell him I plan on doing it all, and he thinks I have no perception of how long things take. And he's probably right because I do it over over and over and over again to myself. But I also think it's important to have those goals and work towards those goals because if you do get it done, then you're really, really proud of yourself. And I am not somebody who gets really disappointed when I don't finish my to-do list. I know tomorrow is a new day, a new opportunity to finish whatever I need to get done. But I always just have these huge expectations for myself and think I can tackle the entire world in one day. I feel like it's just a positive way to look at everything you need to get done and the timing, if if you have a giant to-do list, just work your way through it a little bit at a time. It feels good to get things done and mark things off that to-do list, but at the same time, don't get down on yourself for not finishing it. Instead, be proud of yourself for getting done what you did get done, even if it's just one thing. Right now, since we are putting our house on the market either at the end of August or beginning of September, our to-do list is like two pages long, and believe me, when I tell you looking at that list is extremely overwhelming, but taking it one thing at a time, one project at a time, we find ourselves working through it relatively quickly. At the end of today's video, I will be sharing a quick update of our new home and where we are at in the building process. The last time I was there, we had one first floor wall, so we will see if anything has changed since then. The process has been going so fast, and right now I am anticipate we will be moving sometime in October. That is, weather permitting, anything can happen that will slow down the process, but fingers crossed, everything keeps going as fast as it's going. I am so shocked at how fast this process has been. On a completely different topic, whenever I share videos like this that have more physically demanding work involved, I always get comments about my husband. Where is your husband? Does your husband ever do this work? Does your husband even help? Why isn't your husband doing this? And I just wanted to address those comments. And first, I don't think they are necessary at all. And second, we are a team. If I didn't want to do this project, he would totally be doing it. And if you'll notice at the beginning of today's video, what he did is line the flower bed and lay down all of that black stuff that keeps the weeds out. I don't know what it's called. He was also bringing me the bags of mulch as I needed them all off camera because he really doesn't 
doesn't care to be on camera and I totally respect that. And the night before this, Saturday night until about 8 p.m., Rob and I worked together to get the entire outside of the deck and the planter boxes painted so that today, which was now Sunday, I could focus on just painting the main part of the deck. It was honestly a great weekend. The entire family was outside all weekend long. Not only did we get so much done, but we got to spend tons of quality time together. So that was a very long answer, but yes, my husband does so much. In fact, he typically does like 95% of the yard work. This was a project that I specifically wanted to do, otherwise my husband would be doing it, but I just love being outside in the sun on a nice summer day. It wasn't too physically demanding. I enjoyed doing it. I enjoyed being outside with my family. And like I said, all together, it was just a really good weekend. All of that to say, what I think is important here is teamwork. It's not about what he does outside or what I do inside or vice versa. It's about working together in every aspect of life and that changes from family to family. What works for my family might not work for your family and that's okay because every family is unique and has their own routines and just works and functions in their own way. I'm going to keep working my way around the flower bed laying all of this mulch once I'm done laying the mulch in this area. I did look up on Google what this black stuff is called and it's called landscaping fabric to keep weeds out. So once I'm done laying the mulch, I'm going to cut the excess landscape fabric off around the edges to make a nice clean edge. The bushes still need to be trimmed in this area, but I wanted to show you an aftershot of what it looks like with the mulch all put in. I feel like it looks so much cleaner and nicer. It adds some contrast between the deck and the grass and the house. Once I show you a few more aftershots, we're going to head to the other side of my deck. I have a much smaller flower bed area right next to my deck. I'm going to add a couple bags of mulch in that area, and I think I'm going to get some fake 
plants that stick in the ground to put in that area. I've seen other people do this and it looks so nice and you don't even know. And if you're wondering about the bushes on the other side that we just finished, maybe why I'm not pulling them or planting flowers, maybe even putting some fake plants over there. Those are lilac bushes and I love lilac bushes. Lilacs are my favorite flowers. I actually planted these bushes two to four years ago. I think the bigger ones I planted four years ago and then I have three smaller ones over there that were planted two years ago so those are staying just because they were recently planted and once I cut them towards the end of this video it makes it look much nicer. I am done with the mulch in the flower beds. Now I'm moving to my deck and we're gonna prep it to start painting. I'm using my Ryobi jet blower to blow any debris that is on my deck off. Since it was already power washed, everything is clean. And like I mentioned earlier, Rob and I worked together to get the outside of the deck painted. So all I have to worry about is the main surfaces, the benches and the main part that you walk on. We have always stained the deck and this time we decided to try painting it. We're using the color Coco Rum and a non-slip deck paint. This ended up taking three gallons of paint. We only bought two originally and then around 6 p.m. while I was painting I ran out so I took the kids up to Home Depot to get another third gallon and they stayed up a little bit later than typical and played in the yard while I finished painting. It was really really important that I finished painting the deck this day and didn't wait until the next day because the paint needed needed 72 hours to dry and rain was scheduled on the fourth day so it only had those three days to dry. So I did end up getting it done. The kids stayed up later than normal but everything worked out and I'm so happy to have this project done.
Here is when I had to stop because I ran out of paint. I wanted to show you where I was at, how much was left. I loaded the kids up in the car, went to Home Depot, got the third gallon, and even though it looks like a small section, I did end up using half of the third gallon. You can see a step down to the backyard that needs to be painted, and then there's a little section right outside my back door that needed to be painted as well. I'm also happy that there's leftover paint in case anything happens because we are selling our house, so we can do any touch-ups if need be and leave the paint for the next owners of this house if they choose to do any touch-ups. So I definitely did things out of order in today's video. I should have washed the windows first, being that the porch and the mulch could not get wet for 48 to 72 hours, and I had to wait that time in order to wash my windows. So it is four days later, I'm washing the windows using this Zep window cleaner that hooks up to your hose. My personal opinion after using it, this was my first time using it, I do not recommend I don't think it did a good job and in fact I need to go back and hand wash most of my windows because they simply just don't look very clean. And I am not sure how I lost a bunch of footage but I did go around my entire house and clean every window with this stuff but for some reason I lost like 30 minutes of footage so I'm sorry if it looks like something is missing because it is. Once the windows are done being washed I'm going to start trimming up these lilac bushes. Mind you, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just totally winging it, so if you are a landscaper or you are just generally good at landscaping, don't judge me. This is my first time even trimming anything at all in my backyard, and I just wanted these bushes to be a little bit more uniform so they weren't all over the place. Being that they were planted a couple years apart, two of them looked very large and there were just branches hanging off. Like I said, I just wanted them to look nicer and more uniform. You can see at first, having no idea what I was doing, I tried to just use scissors. That didn't work, so my husband gave me these. We don't have hedge trimmers. Maybe I should get some, but this ended up working perfectly. It's definitely not perfect by any means, but it's a lot better than it was.
I did go around and pick up all of the trimmings afterwards. We put all of the furniture back on the deck and I wanted my husband to mow the grass before. I got an after shot so you could see how everything looks clean and put back together. Unfortunately, it started to rain and you could not mow the grass when it's wet, so I was unable to do that, but between part one and part two, this was such a huge project, but I'm so happy to have it done. I feel like we are finally able to mark some pretty big projects off of our massive to-do list. Now we are headed to our new house so I can give you a quick update like I mentioned in the beginning of today's video and so I can get a quick update for myself since it has been a couple weeks since I've been there. Like I mentioned, last time I was there we had one first floor wall so I'm really interested to see how much progress has been made. Coming here and seeing the framing done on the first floor was shocking. They will be starting on the second floor this week and everything should move very fast from here on out. That is all for today. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.